Hi guys, welcome back to Leila's Home Cooking. And on today's episode, I want to show you how I make bhaja. This is very less absorbing oil bhaja. It's going to be so dry as you're eating it and yet soft and tasty. And uh, in this bowl, I have basin, all-purpose flour, baking soda, salt, some green onion, chopped uh, onion, finely chopped, and some water. And we also need oil for frying. To this bowl, I'm just going to use my hand and mix all this dry ingredient. I'm not adding food color. I never used to add. I never add yellow food color into my bhaja. But if you like a little bit yellowy color, you can just go ahead and add some yellow food color. And now I'm just going to add water gradually and then uh, just keep mixing until you get the right consistency, which I'm going to show you in a bit. And now you can see I have already mixed it and this is what you're looking for. And now I'm going to add my chopped onion and chopped uh, green onion. Now you can add fresh thyme if you want to. I do remember wh where I grew up is from Konjab. I'm a Konjab girl. And um, there was there were an, an uncle that used to make bhaja, which if you are in Konjab and you, you may know, and we, we used to call it uh, Gromamu, if anybody from Konjab is watching this video. So his bhaja used to have thyme and I just really loved that bhaja. So sometimes if I have it on hand, I add and if I don't, I don't add it. Like in Canada, we don't get thymes or herbs easily like that. We have to go to the supermarket to get it. So now I'm just going to keep mixing this just for half a minute, just until combined. And in the meantime, my oil is preheating and then we're going to start frying the bhaja. Oil is preheating and now I'm going to use my hand. You can do this uh, with just an ice cream scoop if you don't want to use your hand, but I'm used of making bhaja just by hand and you're just gonna keep dropping just uh, fill your pan you don't have to put less for bhaja you can uh, put as much as possible And I'm using a fork. This is my easy way of flipping the pakora, the badja, anything uh, deep fry. It's a fork that makes it easy for me. And badja doesn't take too long to fry. I want it to be light, very light golden brown color. Not too darker, not too light. And you can do a bigger bhaja if you want to, if you want to make it quicker. I did actually, this is kind of a medium, not too small. I'm going to give this about, in about half a minute, I'm going to remove this. And uh, my bhaja, they are all ready. This is my second batches. I have already done the first one, which is right here. You guys can see this is, you don't even see oil. This is very dry. I'm just going to break them into half and show you the inside. And you guys, my bhaja is ready. You, you guys can definitely share your own opinion and your own recipe, how you make your own bhaja, especially Tea time every day. I know three o'clock is the time for eating bhaja and with tea, with a cup of tea. So um, let me just break one which is a little bit less hot. You guys can see 
how dry is the bhaja this is really hot i want to break this and show you this is a fill bhaja look inside even inside is so dry and it's not empty and this is how i like my bhaja and it is really hot right now all i need is go make a chutney and uh, a cup of coffee because i i personally don't drink tea so um i think we are done for this video get the full written recipe down below and i will see you next time bye